Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to add a background music player to our Shopify website. It should be compatible on most of Shopify team. I've tried it on debut and also Dawn team and it works great. There is an autoplay policy from Calm and I want you guys to read more about this. So the music is not going to play by itself. The user has to interact with your website before they can allow autoplay and also other browser is going with this policy as well and um, you can download uh, music from soundcloud or pixabay and it's up to you where you get the uh, music but make sure you give credits to the owner so this is what we're adding here it's going to be an audio background and this is what i'm saying for me to allow an autoplay there should be a note for your user or visitor that your website contains an audio and it might play. So they will not get started with loud music or, you know, get confused on where that music came from. When your user or visitor allow it to play, it doesn't play as soon as they click it. So when they scroll down though, it will play the music. And it starts in a very low or a middle part of the volume. You could also change it, um, you can pause it, you can forward it, and you could also like shuffle it. So when you click on this note, um, you should see this uh, list of songs that you have. Um, you can click on that one too to change it, and when it's active, it should be like this. When it's playing like this, uh, let me just make it louder a little bit. So when you place and you, your user or your visitor goes to other page, so let's say they change page and then when they scroll down again, it should continue or pick up where it left. Um, and whenever they exit the browser, so the autoplay pop-up or the message will not come back again unless they close the browser and then go to your website again. So it's not going to annoy your visitor. You could also change the position of the player so you can put it on bottom left or bottom right or on the upper bottom or upper center. You can hide this message by unclicking autoplay song. And then you can just have the user play the song by their own will. And this also works with Mozilla. I have a debut team open right here and it should be working the same. And um, in this one, we don't use uh, an app, nor a subscription, or nor an external link. This is um, from me to your website. There's no middle person. So to start though, we're going to go to our Shopify website. In our Shopify admin, we're going to go to teams. And then we're not going to edit the current team, but if you do want to edit it, you click actions and then click duplicate the team and then edit on a duplicated team. But I just added this done and we're going to work on this one. So click actions and then edit code. And then we're going to go to our section folder. So let's close this and we're going to add a new section. And this one, make sure you call it audio background and then create a section. Then we're going to go to our website and then we're just going to copy this code right here and go back to our code editor again. And then we're just going to delete this code and then control V to paste. So to format it nicely, you just have to highlight. So control A to highlight and then shift tab to format your code and then click save. So as you can see here, I don't use any external um, library. This is all from this code right here. After this, we're going to go to our layout folder and then we're going to go to our team.liquid. We're going to look for a section header. I see it here. And on the bottom of this, below the header, we're just going to add this code and you can copy this code on my website. We called it audio background. So we're just going to copy that audio background and click save. Now all we need to do is add the audio file. So we're just going to right click this and then go to a new tab, open a new tab. And then we're going to see here the audio background. So it's going to be this one right here. 
and then we're going to add an audio so we need the url of the audio and then you can put the image and also the artist you have to give credit to the artist it's really very nice to give them credits on using the audio i'm going to go to my admin store again or to our shopify website again so in here you see the settings click on that and then we're going to go find the files and then I already added my, my music here or my, my audio. To add an audio, you just have to click Upload Files. And then look for the folder where you have your audio. And then I'm just going to click SoundCloud. And then you're just going to highlight that one if you want all of them. And then just click Open. But make sure when you name your audio, if you want a space on it, you have to put a hyphen or a dash. And don't put any special characters if you don't want to appear that to your audio and also numbers and then you just click open and it will take a while for it to upload when you don't see it here just click the file type and then click other and it should be on the other folder so for me i'm just gonna click this dream time right here i'm gonna click copy the link we're gonna go back to our team again and in here i'm just gonna put the link here so i open a new audio file right so i'm just gonna Paste the link here and then you can put the image that you want. So let's just do this one. And then you could also enter the artist of the audio. I mean, you could leave it blank. But for me, I'm going to give uh, credits to free music from SoundCloud. And then if you only have one audio, it's going to create an error. So I would suggest you get two or more. So I'm going to add another audio file too. So I'm going to just copy this link and then add an audio file and i'm going to paste this link here and then this is still going to be free music from soundcloud and then you can add an image or leave it blank and then click save now you should be able to see it when you click the note icon right here and it should be working and you can always change your background. So when you go to audio background right here, click on that. And then you can change it to a pink. And then we could also change our audio track background to probably blue. And then click save so you can see the, the changes. And yes. That, and that's it guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting more videos, more video tutorials with code. Thank you so much for watching.